D.W. Thinks Big by Mark Brown, narrated by me. Aunt Lucy was getting married in two hours. Everyone was getting ready. Arthur's job was to carry the wedding ring down the aisle. He practiced with his mother's ring. Why can't I be in the wedding, too? asked D.W. Why can't I carry the ring? You're too little, said Arthur. And besides, the ring bearer is always a boy. Everyone knows that. Be careful with my ring, called Mother. At least I'd be able to keep the ring on the pillow, said D.W. Let's get a picture of Arthur in his new suit, said Father. Fix his tie first, said Mother. And put on your dress, D.W., or we'll be late. Why can't I be the flower girl? asked D.W. I can walk slowly. I know how to hold my dress out and take tiny steps. Cousin Cora is the flower girl, said Mother. She's older, said Father. She's my age, said Arthur. Why does Arthur get to sit in the front seat? asked D.W. on the way to the wedding. I have a very important job, said Arthur. They can't get married without the ring. That's true, said Father. But try not to be nervous. Maybe Cousin Cora will get nervous too, said D.W. Then I can be the flower girl. But Cousin Cora wasn't nervous at all. And she had on pink nail polish and shoes with bows. See my new dress, said Cora. It's great for swirling. I have a new purse, said D.W., with thirty-one pennies inside. But Cora wasn't listening. She was too busy twirling and swirling. I'm so excited, said Cora. D.W. went to find Aunt Lucy. She was very busy. Next time you get married, can I help? asked D.W. But with everyone talking, Aunt Lucy didn't hear D.W. Finally, D.W. just sat down and watched everyone else get ready. Are you lost, little girl? asked the photographer. I'm not little and I'm not lost, said D.W. Hurry up, D.W., said Mother. The wedding is about to begin. Good luck, Arthur, said Father. Don't forget to smile said Grandma Thora. The music began. Cora started down the aisle, holding her dress out and taking tiny steps. Why is everyone crying? asked D.W. Are they sad? No, said Mother. They're crying because they're so happy. Arthur walked down the aisle after Cora. He remembered to smile. But when he stopped to wave to D.W., the pillow tipped, and the ring fell. Arthur tried to catch it, but the ring began to roll faster and faster down the aisle, right into a heating vent. Now everyone really has something to cry about, said D.W. Relax, said Uncle Shelley. I'll get it. He opened the vent and looked in. It's a long way down, he grunted. I can't quite reach it. Let me try, said Arthur. In he went. Your new suit, cried Mother. Help, cried Arthur. I'm stuck. After they pulled Arthur out, Cora offered to try. I think we need someone smaller, said Uncle Shelley. I'm small enough said D.W. Hold my feet. Down she went. Thump, clank, clunk. And up she came. I found it, she called. Everyone cheered. The music began again. This time it was D.W. who walked down the aisle, slowly taking very tiny steps and careful to hold her dress out, she carried the ring. She only stopped to let the photographer take her picture. 
Finally, she reached the bride and groom. Thanks, D.W., whispered Aunt Lucy. We couldn't have done it without you. I may be little, said D.W., but sometimes I can be a big help. The End <laughs>